Hey everybody, it's Taylor with Boyston Grove, and today we're gonna take a lamp that looks like this and turn it into a lamp like this. There's more than just paint, you'll see. Let's get into it. I picked this old lamp up from a yard sale for a couple bucks a while back, and I built this little foot on the end so I could clamp it onto my desk, and I have never, not even once, used it. So I took it back down, and I've been looking for an opportunity to make it useful, and I think I got an idea. Now usually when I film a shot like this, I have to do some setup that looks a lot like this. It's not only pretty janky, but it's really restrictive. I can't really move the camera or my phone around to get different shots or different angles. So today we're gonna take this lamp that I picked up and we're gonna try to convert it into a tabletop boom for my phone slash camera to be able to move it around and get better shots and better angles for videos like this. I started this build by constructing a new base. Yes, the clamp works okay, but I want something movable that I can take with me to the shop or work on different surfaces with. I built the base out of some leftover cutoffs of butcher block that I had laying around the shop. I want the base to be round, so after tracing a circle on two pieces of the butcher block, I used the miter saw to rough cut the shape. Then I cut one of the circles in half at a 45 degree angle on the table saw. After that, I use the bench sander to refine both pieces. I glued both pieces together and it probably would have been strong enough by itself to hold, but I'm a little impatient, so I went ahead and screwed them together on the underside of the bottom piece. Not that it really matters, but I decided to go ahead and fill all the screw holes with dowels. I used my router to put a large round over on the bottom and then another round over along the top. As you can see, there's a little spot that I couldn't quite reach with the router, so I finished it off with the sander. After a final sanding, I applied some stain and polyurethane to the base. Once the finish was dry, I added some feet to the bottom of the base. I'll leave a link to these feet in the description below. Moving on to the lamp itself, I started by removing the light bulb and the magnifying lens. I have an extra little cell phone clip that's meant to go on a tripod, so basically I just needed to cut a piece of wood and attach it to the head of the lamp and then attach my little clamp. I wanted to paint the lamp, so I started by taking off all the springs and taping off everything that I didn't want to get paint on. To attach the foam clamp to the half inch plywood, I simply drilled a few holes into it and screwed it right onto the plywood.
light our camera boom stand for my cell phone is finished and i'm pretty happy with how it came out except for the paint job as you can see it's not that great right as i was starting to spray paint it my neighbor bless his heart decided to pull out his mower and mow right next to the fence where i was spray painting thank you neighbor i appreciate it I was a little hesitant about making the base so large because I didn't want it to be over cumbersome, but it actually holds the weight of the light really well, so I'm glad I kept with that larger size. I'm also really happy that it has this nice bright light built in so I can eliminate those other lights that I was using when I was trying to shoot overhead shots. Other than the paint job, I'm really happy with how this came out. It functions exactly how I planned and it gave me a chance to utilize something that was otherwise just going to go in the trash. We work on a new project every week so make sure to subscribe and hit the notification bell. And I'd love to hear what you thought of this project in the comments below. If you have any suggestions of how I could improve on this design, I'd love to hear them. Thank you very much for watching, be safe, and have a great day.